Yeah, about the start of the show, I was talking about how why qualifying is important. Even though it's a big, wide racetrack that you can make passes, uh, you still spend a lot. Man, look at this lap coming. That's two tenths. That McMurray's faster than Montoya off a of turn wow. two. He, uh, he, see, he ran a lot of lower line. Carried the speed in there, but he had his car down on the racetrack. If he gets through here at all, this is going to be easy. He's, he's picking oh up even goodness. more. Oh, this is over here. I'd say this pole competition's Man. over. Well, it could be an all down down to second second bracket. Here he comes, and yes, you're going to have a new pole sitter. And it's a hey. front row of Earnhardt Ganassi, McMurray, and Montoya. The M&M &M boys are ready to race. Far ahead as he is, they should just give him the whole front row there. Make him start back <laughs> in the next one. Jamie, how does this speed in qualifying at this racetrack translate to what's going to happen on Sunday? Well, this is a really wide racetrack, but it, it's still hard to pass at any, any, any of the places. So um, getting to qualify well, you get that first pit stall, and, and that makes a huge difference um, getting on and off pit road. It's, it's so much easier to maintain your pit road speed when you're pitted at the, at the far end. So, yeah, it should be good. I, I really thought our car was, was good in race trim. And, and we're trying stuff, and we tried stuff today that was really off the wall that, that we haven't run all year long, just trying to make our cars faster, and, and, and we're learning a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, our, we really had to work on being more consistent, and, and since Indy or since Chicago, um, I feel like we've been one of the more consistent teams. So our, our bad days have been like 11th to 15th, where earlier in the year we were running 30th. So we, uh, we've got really fast cars, and our consistency is there now. People focus on winning a championship, and now you're not in the chase for these final events of the year. So what is the agenda for this Earnhardt Ganassi team, these final seven races? What are you trying to find out? Well, we're just we're trying to win every week, you know, and we're in a position where you can take some more chances. But, um, you know, stuff like today, we, we, we really worked on developing new parts for our car um, for next year. I mean, right now is the time to try that when we come to some of these racetracks and you have an extra 30 minutes of practice um, on Friday. So we really didn't focus on qualifying today. We, we focused on trying to develop stuff for next year. Um, so it's... Uh, it all worked out for us. So. Sunday, 400 miles for the first time ever at the yeah. Auto Club Speedway. What what kind of a difference will that make in terms of strategy? I'm glad it's 400 miles. I I really think the 400 mile races are more exciting, not only for the drivers but for the fans, everybody, because it it uh, there's certain races like the Coca-Cola 600 where that being long is 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 a challenge and it's different. But I'm glad they made that to 400 miles here. I think it uh, it'll obviously uh, the race is shorter, so it uh, everything's gonna happen a little bit quicker. But uh, qualifying is is important, and we've got a good starting position, so it uh, it should be a good show. Congratulations and good luck on Sunday. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm.